Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be the first update for my rolling project 10 pan for 2023. Yes, I did start this a little bit early in December just because I was super excited about it and I knew I wanted to allow for seasonal refreshes if I felt that I need them. So I started in December as winter um, just to give me a full three months with these products if that makes sense. I do not have any rollouts for the first update, which I'm quite disappointed in. I am pre-filming this just a little bit, so I still have hope that I might be able to finish one or two of these things before the actual end of the year, but you guys are seeing this in 2023. <gasps> I'm all confused on when my videos are going up, but Happy New Year! I hope you guys had a wonderful and safe New Year's. Let me know what you did down in the comments below. But I'm trying to do better with rambling in 2023, so let's just hop right into my progress. The first item in my project is the Smashbox Primerizer. My goal is to finish this. I was at the halfway point and now I have less than one quarter left. I used this 16 times and it went from 23 grams down to 18. I am quite happy that I did my makeup 16 times in the last month and I wish I would have done it a little bit more and could have had this finished. I think I probably have six to ten uses left so this isn't going to be done by the end of the year but that's all right a product that i really hope is going to be done this is the smashbox halo healthy glow all-in-one tinted moisturizer this is just a baby one it has spf 25 is seven mils of product i have used this 13 times in the last month and i cannot see through this at all even with a very strong flashlight but 7 mils, 13 uses of product, I feel like there'd be less than 5 uses left. I actually have no idea, but that is my guess. It does feel very light. Um, it's always stored upright, so I have no problem getting product out. And I don't want to go too crazy, like overdo it. When I want a little bit more coverage, I have been mixing this with a more full coverage matte foundation. Um, so that is slowing down my progress a little bit as well but or else I wouldn't have been happy with my makeup that day if that makes sense. So this went from 12, gra 12 grams down to eight. Next I have my Urban Decay Naked Skin Concealer. I used this eight times in the last month. I did start off here and I can't make a new line, which I was a bit surprised with. It just hasn't settled again. And it went from 21 grams to 22 grams. How did that happen? I have absolutely no idea. So maybe I can't make a new line because it refilled itself. Uh, I don't love this concealer. I'm wearing it today. I like it more when I set it with more of a pink powder, which I've been doing. Uh, the Too Faced Peach Perfect is the one I've been using, but it's just, just not a favorite. And it's now the oldest concealer I have, I believe. My Bare Minerals powder is going to be looking a little bit different. I did use it 11 times. Uh, this past month. My goal is to finish all of these items so far. It is now cracked. So it's still picking up. I can get my brush in here, but it is definitely a cracked mess and hopefully it doesn't fall on the floor. But it went from 35 grams to 34. My Body Shop Bronzer. I did use this five times since the last update. My goal on this one is to completely see the second ring. I will post my progress photos because I'm not sure, but I think I have made some good progress and the edges are definitely more of a gentle slope now where I had chipped them out uh, to franken another bronzer so I can see progress in that way. I just don't know if my actual pan has gotten any bigger, um, but I can't see to the edge of this ring either. So I have a long way to go on this. This went from 49 grams to 48. 
A couple things I just want to hit pan on. I have my Tarte Party blush. I used this seven times since the intro. And I'm sure it looks exactly the same. Again, I'll be posting pictures to the side of me. I don't have hopes that this looks any different. It went from 20 grams down to 19. My ColourPop Super Shock Highlighter in the shade Smoke and Whistles. I only used three times, so I don't expect much of a change over here. And the weight didn't change at all from 29 grams. My goal with this is to hit pan. And the last item I want to hit pan on is my Super Shock Shadow in the shade Porter, which is the base for my look today. I did use this two two times since the intro and it was pretty decently used before rolling it in here. It went from 20 grams down to 19. I think I'll have pan in this for my next update. My ColourPop lippy sticks in the shade Lumiere. I used four times including today. I could only make the tiniest of line markings and it did go from 10 grams down to nine. Again, I want to finish this and I think it's going to take a really long time. And the last product in my rolling project 10 pan is the NYX Butter Gloss in the shade Creme Brulee. I've used this six times this past month. Weight change was 14 grams down to 13 grams. And when I'm using this all day long, by the end of the day, because I only count like the first use, there's like no product coming out on the wand. I have been told, I've seen, that this packaging is actually clear and see-through and I can see some cracking happening over here, but I guess I'm gonna have to put this in hot water or something and see if I can get it to settle because if I've like reapplied this two or three times, I no longer get anything on the wand, even when I kind of like swirl it as best I can along the edges. So I find that very strange. There's some on it now uh, because I haven't, uh, I didn't apply this today, but I just found that very interesting. So unfortunately no roll-ins this month, but next month I am very confident that, that these two products will be empty and that I will have pan showing in my ColourPop Super Shock shadow and hopefully we can keep this project rolling really well from there. I really just played around in my collection in December a lot, which I mean, I probably shouldn't have, especially since I started this project and I had Project 10 uses still going, but I had a lot of fun with my makeup, so I'm not too upset about it. But from here on out, we're going to have really exciting progress in this project. I feel really good about doing a rolling project 10 pan this year. And for the first update, I kind of expect there to be, you know, slower moving progress as we gain some momentum. And we're starting mostly, usually, from like scratch, if you will. But anyways, I'm going to stop chatting your ear off. Let me know if you're doing a rolling project 10 pan. What are you working on? If you did enjoy today's video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up so that I know and I'll see you in my next one. Bye.